Hello, I'm James Parkin, and welcome to Living Life, DMD Stab. And today, I want to talk about a story that I find quite fascinating. The other day I was thinking, who is the most famous person that has DMD? You know, is there anyone that's actually really well known through history around the globe, like away from the DMD community, that has it? And it got me thinking. Uh, obviously, you'll know what I'm on about because you, the clues in the title, but you'll find this interesting because it certainly interests me. So here it goes. Ferrari, one of the most instantly recognisable car brands in the world. Enzo Ferrari, one, probably one of the most well-known people in the motor industry. Now Enzo had two sons, Piero Ferrari and Alfredo Ferrari. Now, me and Alfredo Ferrari have a similarity, and that is that we both have Duchenne muscular dystrophy, DMD. Now, Alfredo had a nickname, and he was called Dino, and Enzo Ferrari had big plans for Alfredo, and that was to take over the company, but given this was the 1950s, diagnosis for DMD was quite late, so Enzo then decided that Alfredo could do what he liked in the factory and have a complete basically run around the factory if he wanted. Now Alfredo was very keen to be part of the factories and he had an idea for Ferrari to create small cars and also take part in Formula 2 as well as Formula 1. So Alfredo designed the Ferrari V6 engine but unfortunately he passed away before he could see the actual car in action. The Dino car raced in F2 until the late 60s to moderate success. But the big thing that Enzo wanted to do was to create a type of car in memory of Alfredo. And in the mid to late 1960s, they did that. Under the car name Dino, which of course was named after his son. And these were small, compact sports cars and supercars to coincide with Porsche re releasing the 911. The Dino road cars were produced for nine years between 1967 and 1976. Here are a few of them. Now the racetrack in Imola, or the official name, Autodromo Enzo e Dino Ferrari, was originally called Autodromo Dino Ferrari after Dino passed away, and then after Enzo passed away, it was got its name what it is now, the Autodromo Enzo e Dino Ferrari. So that was a nice tribute. And also Enzo's other son, Piero, supports a place called the Centro Dino Ferrari. And this is a research centre at the Milan University the research is into neuromuscular conditions which is of course what Dino had and of course what I have so I think that's really nice by Ferrari, the Ferrari family and really important and that's a really good thing that I found out now the Dino was based on the engine designs that Alfredo did it really is a really nice car and really fitted the legacy that his son had and it's a really nice tribute now the thing that really amazes me is because he had the same disability as me and didn't live as long as I have but what he achieved, you know, he wanted to be involved in the car world I think really is an inspiration to, for people to actually you can achieve stuff if you put your mind to it and this is just the story I want to talk about with regard to Alfredo Ferrari So thank you for watching this and listening to this because this is the video I've, I've actually wanted to produce for a bit but it's getting the information to produce it and one thing I want to say is if you haven't done hit that subscribe and like button because I've really had a lot of increase in the channel the past week or so so thank you to my new subscribers and on that note I'll see you on the next one